This is Fitness Blenders Sports Endurance and Agility Workout. In this routine, we're going to be doing two rounds of eight different exercises, and we're going to be doing 16 repetitions per exercise. You're not going to need any equipment for this routine. Now, we haven't included a warm-up or a cool-down with this routine, so make sure you do a warm-up before you get started. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started right in with round number one. Our first exercise is lateral hops. We're going to be doing 16 repetitions on each leg, and we're starting with that left leg first. Let's go ahead and get ready. And begin, starting on that left leg, just a nice small hop starting out with. And then start pushing wider and wider as you can, as long as you can control it. You want to try to get as wide of a hop as you possibly can. Just keep that motion going as quick as possible, and again, as much distance as you can. And go ahead and let it relax. We're going to go ahead and switch sides, do the same thing on the opposite leg. And just a couple more, and let it relax. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now that those legs are nice and warmed up, let's get them really tired with squat jumps. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Drop down to that squat really nice and low. Try to get those thighs at least parallel to the ground, and then jump as hard as you possibly can, as high as you possibly can. As soon as you come back down, drop right back into that squat again, and repeat that motion. Just have two more, and let it relax. All right, let's go and do the ventral hops next. This is exactly like a lateral hop, but instead of going side to side, you're going front to back. Starting with that left leg again, go ahead and get ready, and begin. Go ahead and start with a nice small hop, and then start working it bigger and bigger and bigger, trying to really challenge yourself to get as far of a jump as you can, but make sure you're keeping it under control. Just a couple more, then we're going to switch sides, and go ahead and switch it, jumping on that right leg next. Remember, start with a nice small hop, and then build it bigger and bigger as you can. Again, just two more repetitions, and let it relax. All right, let's go move on to the next one, the burpees. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Drop down into that full push-up position as quickly as you can. Then pull those knees right back up underneath you and jump straight up. Then right back down into that push-up. Just keep it going as quick as you can. If you want to make it a little bit harder, go ahead and do a full push-up when you drop down. On the other hand, if you need to make it a little bit easier, you can always cut the jump out of it at the top. Just two more repetitions, last one, and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the lateral jumps. This is a full lateral jump rather than using just one leg, we're using both legs at the same time. Let's go ahead and get ready, and begin. So you're jumping from left to right, start with a nice small jump, and then start working it bigger and bigger and bigger as you can. Remember, you want to go only as large as you can control. You want to try to push it as hard as you possibly can, but don't go past that control point. Just keep it nice and quick, and try to stay as low as possible. Just two more repetitions, and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the jumping lunges. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. Drop down into a lunge, jump directly up, and then try to switch those feet as quickly as you can in the air, dropping back down with the opposite leg forward, then jump right back up again, switching back to the original position. Just keep those legs moving as quickly as possible, trying to get a nice low lunge every single time. And go ahead and let it relax. Let's move on to the next one, the agility dots. And this one's gonna be a little bit hard. We're actually doing 16 repetitions on each leg in each direction. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. You're going to imagine four dots on the ground, and you're going to jump an X pattern across those dots, so you actually touch each four for every single round. So it's going to start on the bottom left corner, jump diagonally forward to the top right, 
then straight across the top left, and then diagonally back to the bottom right, and then again back to the original position of the bottom left. Just keep repeating that motion 16 times over. And go ahead and let it relax. We're going to switch directions, so you're just going to reverse that, that same motion you were just doing. So starting on that bottom right corner this time, moving diagonally up to the top left. Now we're just going to repeat that same motion 16 times again. Now your legs will be burning like crazy by the time you're done with this one, but try to keep that motion as quick as possible and as clean as possible, just trying to force your way through it. We're almost done, just a few more rounds. And let it relax. All right, we're going to do the same exact thing on that opposite leg. So go ahead and start with that right leg, starting that same exact X pattern. And we're almost done. And as quick as you can, you're just going to do that same motion again, just this time in reverse. I know that calf is burning, but you're almost done. Keep trying to push yourself through it. Just got a few more, and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the last exercise of this round, the mountain climbers. Doing 16 of these, these are actually gonna go by pretty quick. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. Shuffle those feet back and forth. If you want the hard version, don't let that toe touch the top. If you want it a little bit easier, go ahead and let that foot touch down every time you pull it forward. Just move it as quickly as you possibly can, keeping those hips nice and low. And let it relax. All right, that's the end of round number one. Go ahead and pause it here if you want a little bit of extra rest. Otherwise, we're going to start back in in just a second. All right, let's go ahead and start back in with round number two, starting back over with the single leg lateral hops. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, starting that left leg first. Just nice, quick, small hops left to right. Try to jump as wide as you possibly can, as wide as you can control. Now you're going to feel this throughout your entire leg, but of course you're going to feel it predominantly in your calf, but also in the inside and outside of your thigh. And go ahead and let it relax. We're going to switch legs, do the same thing on that opposite leg. Now remember, just start with a nice small jump and then start getting it wider and wider and wider. Just keep pushing it as far as you can control. Almost done. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the jump squats. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Nice low squat. Try to get those thighs down to parallel to the ground. Then jump as hard as you possibly can. Now you're going to feel quite a bit of this in your glutes, your butt muscles, your quadriceps, and your hamstring, as well as those calves. Actually, there's not much of your body that's not being used in this exercise, which makes it a great plyometric exercise for any sport. And just one more, and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the ventral hops. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, starting on that left leg, just a nice small hop front to back. Start pushing that hop just bigger and bigger and bigger as far as you can control. Try to keep it as quick as possible. Now, this is a great exercise for building up strength through that leg for quick directional change. And let's go ahead and let it relax. We're going to switch sides, do the same thing on that right leg. Now, this is a great one to focus on those hip flexor muscles, the ones that run through the front of your hip, a little bit into your quadricep, as well as your glute and your hamstring. So everything through the front and the back of your leg really get taxed on this one. Almost done. Just a couple more. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the burpees. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Remember dropping down to that push up and then a nice quick jump at the top. This is a great full body exercise, really gets that heart pumping like crazy. But not only is it a great cardio exercise, it also trains your body to react to stimulus more quickly, which in turn increases your reaction time.
and just two more repetitions and let it relax. All right, let's go move on to the next one, the lateral jumps. Go ahead and get ready and begin. Now you want to start with a nice small hop at first, jumping left to right, trying to get it wider and wider every single time, trying to stay nice and low, really pushing it. This is a great exercise to build lateral strength for those knees, which in turn really helps you increase your speed at changing your motion laterally. So basically being able to run from straight forward to turning directly 90 degrees left or 90 degrees right without a hesitation. Just two more repetitions. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the jumping lunges. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, dropping down to that lunge, jumping straight up, switching those feet in midair, dropping right back down again with that opposite foot forward, then directly back up into that jump again, switching feet back to that original position. Just keep that motion going nice and quick, trying to get a nice low lunge every single time. And go ahead and let it relax. Let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the agility dots. Remember, we're doing 16 repetitions on each leg in each direction. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Starting on that left leg first, remember you're imagining those four dots on the ground, jumping to each one of them, making that X pattern across the middle. Just make sure you're moving as quickly as possible, barely letting that foot touch the ground before you're jumping to that next spot. And we're almost done. And let it relax. Remember staying on that same leg, doing the same motion, just in reverse. Remember, if this leg isn't burning already, it's going to be very shortly. Just try to power through it as much as you can. Try to keep it as clean as possible. This is a great exercise for building up ankle strength as well as overall ankle stability and coordination, which in turn helps you recover your balance much more quickly no matter what kind of movement you've just done. This is also a great exercise for just overall injury prevention as well. The stronger that ankle, the more stable, the less likely it is going to get hurt. All right, let's go ahead and let that one relax. We're going to switch sides. So go ahead and switch to that right leg. We're going to start that motion over again on that right side. Almost done. And go ahead and let it relax. We're going to stay on that same leg, switch directions, so that same exact pattern, just doing it in reverse. Now that leg is burning, just try to push through it a little bit longer. Just power through it. We're almost done and let it relax. All right, let's go and move on to the next one, the mountain climbers. This is our last exercise of this round. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Get those feet moving in and out as quickly as you possibly can. Remember to make it a little bit harder, trying to let that toe touch the ground as you pull that knee forward. You wanna get as close up to that elbow as you possibly can. Also, make sure you keep those hips nice and low and let it relax. All right, that was the last exercise. This workout is complete. Good job. If you enjoyed this workout, don't forget to share it with your friends and family on your favorite social network site.